They need God more than ever, amen? They need Jesus more than ever. They need love more than ever. So, guys, listen, if we'll hold on to God and love him with all of our heart, soul, strength, mind, everything we have, it's easy to love others, amen, to love our neighbors, those around us. And we talked about how God sent Jeremiah out not only to his neighbors, it was an entire nation, right? And he was young when this happened. So we need to do everything we can to reach out to those around us, to be a good example of Jesus, amen? You know, I heard they're trying to throw the Bible out, make it hate speech and everything else. In a world where things are getting so crazy, we need somebody to show this world who the real Jesus is, amen? What real love is, amen? Amen. Let's give God a good praise right there. Welcome in our visitors and our guests. It's good to have you. Thank you for being with us today. We love you guys. You'll never find a church that'll love you anymore, amen? We're a bunch of country folk that just love Jesus, amen? We want to thank you guys for being at Mount Vale. I want to open, I'm going to open in prayer. I'm going to turn it over to these guys here. Let them sing you a song. And then we'll kind of get to everything else we have going on. But let's open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for your love, mercy, and kindness, God. Thank you for your grace, God. Right now, Father, we give you this service. We place it in your hands. God, have your will and your way. God, help us to do everything according to you today, Jesus. To let the truth go forward. Let love go forward, God, into your people. Help this congregation for the next few minutes, God. And let all the worries, all the stress of life melt away. And press into you. Press into your presence, Father. And feel your love all around them. Just consume this place place today. Holy Spirit, God, answer by fire. God, like a mighty rushing wind, come into this place, Father, and let us feel you and know you in here today, Father. We love you, we praise you, we thank you for all that you're doing and going to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Once like a bird in prison I dwelt, no freedom from my sorrow I felt. wanted to throw out a reminder uh, if you have any baked goods or donations men or women can you please bring them today or by tonight because we're going to go to Jefferson County Police Department tomorrow and Hamlin County Police Department and hand them out and thank you for all the donations that we have received already amen 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 all right so at this time, you guys can be seated. We're going to go ahead and kind of get this out of the way and honor our, uh, our graduates. We all know it's been kind of a tough time on them, amen? I couldn't imagine going to school all those years or be a family ready to see, you know, whether it be your youngest, maybe the last one through or the first one to finally graduate, then all this craziness happened in the world and you don't get to see them walk the stage. You know, the, their whole school year, they were out for months. 
They only got to go for about one semester, which I'm sure some of them ain't complaining about going for one semester. But uh, we want to kind of honor those guys today. We're going to call them up. When I call you, you got to come up on stage. You got to stay up here till the end. Some of them bashful, I know. You got to stay up here. We're going to pray over you guys. We got a little gift for you, and we want to honor you guys today and, and give, you, give you a blessing. So, oh, she'll like this right off the bat. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll try not to be too long-winded and say something about every single one of them. But this young lady right here, we've seen her grow leaps and bounds in a very short amount of time. And I'm so proud of her and the, the young lady that she's becoming and what she's going to do. But at this time, April Jones. Come on up there. <laughs> stay and look at them look smile look and smile but you hear that cheer they love you you kidding me you can't run off now look at that man okay all right next young man nice strong right good young man he's always been very respectful he's always done the best he can i've always seen him in a good mood i don't think i've ever seen the guy mad or in a bad mood and I, I, I'm curious to see, you know, what, what his life is going to be and what God's going to do with him. He could go so many different directions that he wanted to go. He has such a personality to help people and bless people and do great things for God. Hunter Bryant. Come on down. Look at this guy. Look how good he looks, too. Woo, yeah. Looking good. River's got something for you, too, there. Sorry, my assistants are all over the place today. All right. Now, this young lady, she's going to do great things in God, I know for a fact. And she's about to embark on a kind of a crazy adventure. And I, I wish her nothing but the best. She's actually going to be going to the Navy. So we need to be praying for her and kind of lifting her up, wanting to go out and serve our country. And even as a young woman, said, I don't care. I'm going to go out and serve the country and wants to, wants to join the Navy. Hannah Hawkins. I could tell a lot of embarrassing stories, and I could say quite a bit about this one. I've had this young lady since, golly, it feels like the beginning, I guess. When I, even from, you know, when I took over 9 to 11, I started out 9 to 11 uh, in uh, Sunday school. I took it over for, uh, for April, and uh, I had her in there. And then as soon as I went to the youth, she followed me up to the youth. I had several kids do that. So they've been with me for a long time now, since they were 9 years old all the way up to some of them's 18, 19, almost 20 years old now. But to, to watch them grow and, and what they've done, to see them as such, you know, feel, you feel like nine years old, a little kid, all the way up into young adults, it's been awesome. But I'm super proud of her. She's going to have to come visit me more and not stay gone so long because I love her so much. Elizabeth Horner. This is what she looks like if you guys forgot. Don't come see us. I told you I was going to get you. Look at her. That, this is her. If you all remember Elizabeth, yeah, you remember her? I got aggravated real good. Now she'll tell me I won't come back after you've done me like that. I ain't coming back to see you. This young lady right here is full of wisdom, full of God. She, has, she is beyond her years, beyond her years. And I don't even think she realizes it. I don't even think she knows it yet. She's going to do amazing things for God. You mark my words today, right here, June 28th, 2020, and you wait and see what she does because it won't be the last time you hear her name. I expect a great ministry to absolutely come out of this young lady, Valerie Emmerts. And also, too, we're going to honor, her brother couldn't be here today, Stephen, but we want to, we're going to honor him. She's going to kind of stand in for him. But that young man has come so far in such a short amount of time. Just last year in the fall, around November, December, he got saved, gave his heart to the Lord. You know, and I can relate to him so much, you know, kind of out in the world and had those bad friends. He was such a, he's such a good young man with a good heart, but just kind of mixed up in the wrong crowd kind of situation. But he finally broke free from that. And I love to see that he got away from those, that, that bad, yeah, that bad situation. 
bad influences in his life, but we love Stephen. Now he's going to kind of stand in for him. I look for God to do great things with him as well. It's going to be awesome. I think he's going to have a, he, he loves working with young people as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see him at Children's Church or Youth Pastor or something also. All right, I had to call this one back in here too. He tried to run off on me. I love this kid. He's kind of special too. Look, I love the kids and I do have special stories with, with some of them. But the, the first young man I ever got to baptize. And uh, he, he come to me and he said, hey, and he was kind of with me too. He's been with me since the 9 to 11 and all the way up through youth. He's been with me a long time. He usually gets stuck in my room as a chaperone every time we went somewhere. I'd always end up with him. But we always got along and always had a special relationship. But he come to me and he said, hey, he said, I want to get baptized. I said, man, that's awesome. Let's do it. He said, I want you to do it. And I was just like, you about Mel then, you know, after you've been with him for so long and had such a relationship with him. But I got to be, uh, the, be the, that was the first young person I got to baptize, and it's been awesome to watch him grow, and I, I'm, I'm ready to see what the Lord's going to do with him. He has such an awesome personality, such a great young man, and I can't wait to see what God does with him. Andrew Church. This one here, I'll tell you much about this kid. You guys know him real well here. He's quite the character. You'll know who I'm talking about in a minute. He's quite the character, but he is awesome. He has been, he is, he is mature in the Lord. You know, hey, they're, they're still young, but some of these young people have such maturity in the Lord and uh, such a gift and a calling and an anointing. It's crazy to think, you know, that, that they start out and they think, well, here's what I want to do. And then God anoints them to do something and then it just takes off. You know, how they can pick up instruments and how they can, just, just the way they see things and think about things. I remember he started out trying to play the keyboard and just played a few things here and there. Now he can do about anything he wants on that thing, right? This kid right over here, Brady Williams. Hey, 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 hey. Tell him that ain't fair. Musical introductions, man. Get over here. Everything's going to get dead quiet. Now look what you've done, see? Started it all up and then killed it. Okay. All right, so real quick, we had one young lady that was out of town that couldn't be here. I think she's out on vacation. Um, you know, she's, she's come here for a while and been in and out. I know she kind of lives on the uh, a far end of town. But this young lady has come in, and she's endured a lot. If you guys knew her story uh, through family life and things like that and things that she's had uh, in her life and, and things she's had to overcome, friends, and, I mean, anything for being bullied, even for her faith. You know, a lot of people at her school, she would come to me you know, in tears and talk about how people made fun of her for her faith and being outspoken about her faith and, and for her love of Jesus. But uh, like I said, she couldn't be here today, but I want to you know, give a round of applause and, uh, and honor her is uh, Karina, Karina Sullivan, right? Sullivan. We love her. She's watching from the beach. We're all jealous because you're at the beach, but we love you and we miss you. All right, he's supposed to be on his way, but he's running late, so we're going to keep things moving. If he gets here while we're praying, we're going to, we'll drag him up here to get him to pray. But I'll have his sister stand in for him for now. But this young man, too, I mean, he's when I, when I first met him, you know, he was so shy and timid and, and in such a, in a shell, you couldn't even hardly touch him. You know, he was so just afraid of people and nervous and kind of, you know, just a real shy, you know, real bashful kind of guy. But now, you know, you wouldn't know it by talking to him. And, uh, and, and the young man that he's grown into, super smart, super smart young man and uh, a great young man. And I look for God to do great things with him as well. He's grown so far in just a few years that I've known him. But we'll get some more to come up here and get J.T. Allen. Honor him. All right, so guys, listen, at this time, if you guys will stand with me, kind of reach up here, stretch your hand out here. You guys get in a circle right here. Make, a, make me a big circle right here. Get side by side right there. But we want to pray over these young people. And send them out. You, you kind of know what the, the next step, their next journey into life, whether they go to college, whether they, they step out into the, the job force, into a career, go into the Navy, the, the, you know, the, the service, whatever it might be. We want to pray for these young people and make sure that God always has his hand on them. Always hold on to God. Amen. Always keep a relationship with him. Keep him first. And things will always work out for the good. Amen. He always works things for your good. Right now, let's pray over them. Dear Heavenly Father, God, right now, we lift these young men, these young women up to you, Father. We place them into your hands, God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing their lives. God, continue to bless their lives, their family, God. Guide their path, Lord. Every step, God, be a light to their path, Father. Keep them from the darkness. Keep them on the straight and narrow, Father. Be with them, God, in every decision they make, God, whether it be furthering their career, they go, to, they go into college, God, into the workforce, into the services, God, wherever they may go, God. Be 
with them. Help them to hold on to you to keep them first, Father. Always keep them connected to their first love, God. That moment when they first gave their heart to you, Lord. How they felt, Lord, that presence and that love, how it changed their life. God, continue to pour into these young people. Help them, God, never to let go of you, but to keep the cross before them and the world behind them, Father. Wherever they go, God, lead them, be with them, be for them, Father, and let them know, God, you will never leave or forsake them, God. Right now, Lord, we place them into your hands. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing them this far and continue to bring them, God, whether you come and get us, Lord, or call them home. Keep them with you right now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you. do the video we'll do offering all that keep things moving now Praise the Lord. Before we get to the video, can you cut it off for a second? We're getting ready to receive our offering. Sheriff wants to know if you got any KJs for him. Look at him. Don't look pitiful. Look pitiful at him, Sheriff. Look pitiful at him. I said look pitiful at him. So they give you some more money? <laughs> help the old man. He needs some help. Amen. Hey, let's give our graduates a big hand. Can we? Let, let me tell you this, we got a lot of folks traveling, ladies out of town, all that stuff. You look around missing some folk, that's where they're at. But let, let me give you a little update. Most of y'all know that now we've kind of let the cat out of the bag, and we've already told uh, our one of our pastors, Brother Larry Fraser, the one sitting in the wheelchair. We've been raising money now for a few weeks to get him something. Got a call this past week, amen, and uh, his brother found a van. Long story short, it was in Sevierville. It was 2015. And it had 2,100 miles on it. And we bought it. They were asking 28000 We bought it for $18,000 cash out the door. Can you give God a good praise? Amen. And the best part about it, it was a Ford, Brother John. It was a Ford. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now we're, we're actively raising the money now and to get the lift and everything put in it. But we're getting close to our goals. If you want to contribute to that, we'll have some pictures later on where you'll be able to see the van. And the 12th of, of July, we're going to present it to Brother Larry Frazier. I think we ought to give God a good praise for giving us something. It's still got the break-in oil in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand. Did you bring a gift for the Lord today? Amen. Can, can I tell you this? Amen. This is more of worship than falling in the floor. This is more worship, amen, than running all over the building. That don't cost you nothing. This says to God, God, I trust you with my money. And when things get tight and things get low, guess what? That's the time when you need to continue to give, stay in covenant with God, and watch what God does in your life, amen. He said he would rebuke the devourer. You don't know how many times I went back to the Lord and said, Lord, I'm just going to remind you. Just a real friendly reminder from Brother T.H. down here. You said you was going to rebuke the devourer. I need you to do that right now. And you know what God did? He rebuked the devourer because I was in covenant with my money. Amen. I don't love money more than I love God. I said I don't love money more than I love God. All right. You got a gift. It's time to get. Uh, it's time for uh, offering. Let's. Let's worship the Lord today in our offering. Father, we love you. We bless you. We're so thankful to be in the house of the Lord. Thankful for these graduates. God, we pray you, pray you guide their steps. Keep your hand upon them all the days of their life. May they never forget the things that they've been taught right here at Mount Bell Church of God. Move by the power of your spirit upon them. Bless those today, God, who brought a gift for you. Bless those that are faithful in their tithing and their giving. Keep 
them safe, keep their jobs and move in their lives and make ways where there seem to be no way. And we'll give you praise, honor, and glory. And everybody said, amen. Yes. 